has been known for a while now as the Champions League. With that in mind, we have asked Thierry, Jamie and Micah to select their Champions League era best teams ever. There was, uh, you don't know which teams each other picked, right? There was some agreement, there was some disagreement. <laughs> Get your notes ready, Micah. Get yeah, my notes um, ready, but of there course. Were you don't two remember teams yours? That He's that forgot you... them. No, 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 that is it. I'm preparing properly, you know what I mean? All my notes are there. <laughs> Who wrote he, those for you? Because you never type your well, notes. Well, at least I brought my tie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I packed it. <laughs> so, Max. two teams that you all three agreed on. Uh, let's take a look at what we got then. So, Real Madrid 2018 was uh, one of those. Jamie, your reasons why? Well, it wasn't just for that season. They had an era of winning mm. sort of three or four Euro European Cups really close together. I think Zidane being involved. I was at this final. And I think the role of well, Gareth Bale, certainly on that night, the role of Cristiano Ronaldo oh. at that stage of Real Madrid, they are synonymous with winning the Champions League and to have that sort of era, just on the back of Barcelona, having a similar type of era, really with, with you know, special players and, and not remembered as, so much as a, as a great team, but maybe a team of individuals. Yeah, but if you win it free, you know, free on the bounce, you've got to be a, a great team. So I agree with everything that Jamie said. They was actually my number one pick, to be honest. I think they're the... The best. If you win it three consecutive years, you've got to be one of the best teams. Definitely. One of, or the, you said it was the best thing one of. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm a bit younger than you, do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing everything. Terry, your thoughts? No, it's simple for me. Three in a row, you, you, you gotta be in, uh, you got to be in it. I mean, it, to win one is already difficult to make one final, but to win it three times. So I went with that team, that era of winning three in a row. Uh, so one of the other teams, or oh, in fact, sorry, the only other team that you all three agreed on was Barcelona 2009, a team that you played in, I believe, Thierry. Uh, but Jamie, talk to us about why you picked this one. This is the greatest team I've ever seen. It is. The, the, the Pep Guardiola team, you obviously Thierry there, Messi's there. And, yeah, I mean, I think that team and that manager changed football. I think we're still seeing that today, the way teams play. Mm. I think we saw things with that team that we'd never seen before in terms of how the game was played. I think also the influence it had on the Spanish national team, one of the best teams we've ever seen, and a World Cup and two European Championships as well. So that, for me, is the greatest club team of all time. Now that you've checked your notes, Michael. No, yeah, it says exactly that. I've got all the notes there. They're coming second for me. <laughs> They're second for me. Xavi and Iniesta, oh, they, they started it. I mean... We talk about Xavi, we talk about midfielders. Xavi, we need to put some respect on Xavi's name because he started that, that ticker tacker. And he has to come after him. And then two of the same team. Brilliant. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> he, has, he has his notes. <laughs> I don't have my, my tie. Yeah. <laughs> but how was that to play on a team like that that Jamie says just incredible? For me, I understood something when I went to Barcelona. I, I remember you know, people talking about the academy. And I, every time I was like, why are they talking about the academy all the time? Like, we're also part of this. But to dominate world football, the way we were playing that year, and people were stopping me in the street, not talking about what, how we won, uh, what we won, sorry, but how we won. And the way we were playing is contagious. But having saying that, to dominate world football, and having a lot of players coming from, from the academy, not a lot of club can say that. And this is why, obviously, I'm biased because I played in that team, and, but it's generally, one of the best that I've seen, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. But for the, for, for the reason that I mentioned, having players from the academy for me <clears throat> will always give an edge when you dominate in world football. Uh, so those were the three teams that all of you agreed on. Then there was then, uh, sorry, two teams that all of you agreed on. There was then three teams that two of you agreed on. Ooh. So sticking with Barcelona, uh, Thierry and Jamie, both of you had, had 2011 as well, Ooh. Barcelona 2011. I think that performance at, uh, at Wembley, I think was, along with another team I've picked, possibly the most one-sided or best performance I've actually seen in the final, maybe something similar to the one we've just seen with Thierry, but this game at Wembley, watching this Barcelona team, and when I say this team changed football, this is the greatest team of all time, I'm talking of that era, I'm not just talking about Thierry's team, I'm also putting that team together in some ways, it was just you know two or three players mm -hmm. slightly different, but it was that Pep Guardiola, changing football, Messi in that position, Xavi, Iniesta, so many of the same players. I mean, that era for me is the greatest. Well, 2015 is, a, a, you didn't actually pick 2015, did you? But Barcelona no. 2015 was picked by both Thierry and Micah. That means you picked Barcelona three times yep. then. Yeah, for three the Barcelona reason teams. that I mentioned and the reason that Jamie just mentioned, you know, that final in uh, 11, 
and Man United. I mean, if if Man United didn't meet Barcelona so many times in the final, I think they would have had one or two, maybe. Uh, no disrespect to any other team, but they couldn't grab the ball. They just couldn't grab the ball. They didn't know what to do, and to do that to Man United at that time is crazy. And if we move on to 15, I mean, that front three Whoa. was just Messi, ridiculous. Neymar, Suarez. Yeah, that was just ridiculous. I was at that final uh, working. And seriously, Juve looked like they were about to do something, but they just they just couldn't. And the way they win it, how they were playing, passing the ball to each other, Rakitic scoring the first goal, assist from Iniesta. I mean, they did a treble on the on the obviously that year. It was just once again football at its best. And again, for me, and I know I'm repeating myself, a lot of players from the academy once again. Well, that's I think another reason that you also picked the Ajax 1995 team. And for me, that's number one. And I know, okay. and I know, I obviously, I played for Barca and, and uh, you know, but that Ajax team all went to have great careers individually. 